Good morning guys. So first things first, I weighed in today at 192.8 and then my lowest weigh in has been this week at 191.7. So if you guys are wondering and if you guys are curious, um, I had my period and then afterwards and now this is kind of what I've been weighing in at. So today is February the 11th. It's a Saturday. It's 2 p.m. and I am about to film some videos that I have laid out but I also need to go to the gym. I have a lot of goals that I want to reach so I have cardio and then I'm going to be hitting probably shoulders and back just because I really do need to hit those. Okay so I just got to the gym but I'm actually going to take a second. I need to take my I'm gonna take my vitamins so I have magnesium, turmeric, all of those. I'm gonna take those before I go in. I ate some thing and that guy came really close to my car. I actually thought it was gonna hit me. That guy's talking to himself. Taking you guys with me. So now we're in the gym and I'm in the underground part of my gym. If you guys have not noticed, I cannot really film at the upper levels, so I like to lift in the underground section, but I'm hitting delts, back, and cardio today. So I did, I think, four different exercises with lifting and then I did cardio. With that being said, I hit delts by running the rack. I love running the rack. If anyone else likes doing that, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below. I would love to know. Um, I start out at five pounds, do a two minute warm up, and then I go all the way to 25 pounds. And I just run the rack all the way up and run it back down. And it doesn't take me too long as long as I only give myself about a 30 second break and I just do it and burn my shoulders out and it feels great. So, I tighten my ponytail and run the rack back down and now I'm going to be hitting back. So for back I did close grip lat pull downs and with that I really wanted to focus on feeling my lats. Then I did the single arm close grip pull downs and then I also did the wide grip lat pull downs. After that I had cardio and cardio is hardio guys. <laughs> Um, for today, I did actually an incline of 15 and I just walked at a 3.5 mile pace, got me super sweaty. I did a five minute warm up before that just because I had hit upper body. So I wanted to make sure my legs were getting pretty warm. And then I did that I only for five minute warm up and then 10 minutes of incline and I got pretty sweaty, but also it works your calves and your glutes, which is great. And in order to finish my cardio, I did some rope cardio extension, whatever I want to call it. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But I did 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for 15 rounds, and that got my heart rate pumping. And oh, it was just, it was just great. But then I sat there for a good 10 minutes and stared at my phone, took selfies, and you guys were Snapchatting me, so I replied. And then I kept going. But that's all. Okay guys, so I just finished my workout and now I'm going to go home, shower, all of that jazz. But yeah, you guys can see what I look like right now. I hit shoulders and a little bit of back and then I did cardio today. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get all my stuff together. It's almost four o'clock now and I just need to get everything together because now I have a shoot. Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing and I have the Canon EOS 70D. I know they came out the 80D, but I wanted the 70D just because the differences were not enough for me to go out and like spend even more money on something that I didn't need, like the things that they had like done extra to it. And then I also have the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens and I'm so excited to show you guys. So first things first, let's go into the Canon camera so this is what the box looks like and when you open it up at the top this is just the body by the way just so you guys know it comes like this and ah, 
yeah, inside of it there is a cord that I am guessing is for the charger. Then there's a packet with like the manual, like the CDs explaining how to use it. And then you flip this up and you get the stuff in here. So, so then you get the actual charger and it looks like this. Ooh, that's actually really cool. It's like this. So it looks like that. 7BD strap, which I think is kind of cool, but I don't even know if I'll use it on mine. Then it comes with a plug-in, and I honestly don't think I'll even need this unless I'm traveling. This is what the battery looks like. So now let's get into the actual body of the camera. I'm going to show you guys that. So it's so beautiful. It comes in like a little dust bag, but... Oh my gosh, guys, it's... So this is the camera. This is the Canon EOS 70D. Um, it's not on or charged. The Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. So this is the box that it comes in. Looks like that. And the filter size is actually 72 millimeters. So if you guys have any filters that you guys think I should get um, brand-wise, then let me know. So when you open this up, you actually get the limited warranty, the book, and then the warranty sticker. And then you also get it in the bag, which looks like this. And I already opened it, so like, I already saw what was in it because I got this one like two days ago. But when you first open it, it comes in this beautiful bag from Sigma. And it's all zipped up and pretty. It just looks like this. And then, oh, this is so beautiful. You pull out the lens and the lens is honestly so stunning like here let me show you guys this is what it looks like and you just press right here oh my god it's so beautiful my mom probably thinks i'm like dying 